Okay, so now I'm going over question number five. Very typical. You are given a differential equation. And you can see right away this is a slope field. Now, part A, this is going to be worth two points. And I don't want you to miss these two points because this is just computation. So, for example, you look at the point 0, 0 and you plug it in. So, when y is 0 and when x is 0, what is the slope? So, it's cosine of pi times 0 is 0. So, you need to know your unit circles. So, 0 minus 1 is you have negative 1 squared. And cosine of 0 is 1. So, you have 1 times 1. So, the slope is going to be 1. I had quite a few students get that incorrect. You need to know your unit circle. And you continue with this process through all of them. So for example, if I do this point, which is the point ordered pair is 0, 1. So now I'm going to have 1 minus 1 squared. And then it's cosine of and x is, so it's pi times 0. OK. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0 squared. So 0 times, doesn't matter what that is, it's going to be 0. So the slope here is 0. Now, if you were to complete all of these accurate, then you're going to get this as your slope field. Now, notice we've got zeros here whenever y is 1. OK? And so you get one point for having all the zero slopes. Now, you get another point for having all of these fairly accurate. They must be going in the correct direction. Okay, now part B says there is a horizontal line with equation y equals c that satisfies this differential equation. Well, if I look at this differential equation right here, do you see a horizontal line? Yes, I do. I see it right there. And that is a horizontal line, okay, at 1. So then it's going to be y equals 1. So, the line y equals 1 satisfies the differential equation. So, c equals 1. Now, notice that was just one for one point because it's pretty simplistic. But from here on out, you're going to earn six points. Now, look at the directions, the vocabulary. Find the particular solution y equals f of x. In other words, you are given the differential equation. Now, most of you know what to do. You're just having a hard time reading the math language. So you're given the differential equation, and you want to solve for y. So you need to get y by itself. Well, how do we do that? We separate, integrate, integrate, and add a c. So if you look over here at the rubric, you can see step one is worth one point. Separate. So notice now we have the y. We divide by y minus 1 squared. So we have 1 over y minus 1 squared dy equals cosine pi of x dx. Now let's integrate. So we're going to integrate both sides, okay? Now, you might not be able to jump to this next step quickly, but we know that on the left side we have basically it's y minus 1 to the negative 2 dy, right? And we're integrating that is equal to cosine of pi x, sorry, dx. Integrating that. Well, whenever you integrate, remember you're increasing. So we're going to increase, we're going to add 1 to negative 2. Well, that would make it negative 1. And then you always divide by the new exponent. Okay? Now, the antiderivative of cosine is sine pi of x. And if there is a coefficient in front of the pi term, now with derivatives, we would multiply by pi. But with integrals, then, we divide by pi. Had many students forget that to divide by the coefficient of x. And then always plus c. Now check this out. I get one point for this integration, one point for this integration, and then one point for this plus c. And if you forget the plus c, the AP grader stops grading at that point, and you can only get a maximum of three points for all of this work here. Okay, now I am going to substitute the initial value. So we are told f of 1 equals 0. So the point is, whoops, why did I write that crazy? The point then is 1, 0. So let's substitute 1, 0. So it's negative basically 1 over y minus 1. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Sine of pi x 
over pi plus c. I guess I didn't really need to do that. So I'm going to go negative 1 over 0 minus 1 equals sine, and then it's a pi all over pi plus c. Okay, so 0 minus 1 is negative 1, so the negative of a negative 1 is going to be 1, okay, and sine at pi is 0. That works out near, nice, so I get 0 plus c, so 1 is equal to c. So you get one point for doing that accurately. Okay, now I'm going to erase this just to give myself some room here. So I know that 1 is c, so I'm going to change that to 1. Now the last step, so that was worth one point, so that's 5. Now the last step is to get um, y by itself. And I need to clean this back up again. 1 over y minus 1. Is that right? Negative, yeah. Equals sine of pi of x over pi plus 1. Now, algebraically, this is where some of you made the mistake. You know you've got a, this denominator is y minus 1, so we want to take the reciprocal. But we can't take the reciprocal of the right side yet because it's not a proportion. It's 1, we, we have to make this I have the same denominator. So if I make it have a denominator of pi, so 1 would be pi over pi, right? So plus pi over pi is equal to negative 1 over y minus 1. Now I can go ahead and take the reciprocal of both sides. So I'm going to have negative y minus 1 is equal to pi over sine of pi of x plus pi. Take the negative, so it's going to be negative, this becomes positive, and then add 1. So y equals the negative pi sine of pi of x plus pi, and I'm adding 1, right? And then that is, so you can see right here, that is the solution. That was worth one more point. So remember, solve for a particular solution means separate, integrate, integrate, add a C.